these pumpkins. They're just getting wilder and wilder as we get closer and closer to Halloween. Stay. Okay. Here we go. All right. You ready to sing your hello song? Maybe that'll calm these pumpkins down. Whew. Jeez. Okay. Ready? Sing along with me. Hello, friends. How are you? Some of you are seeing this after Halloween. I hope you had a good and safe Halloween. And I hope you got lots of candy. Miss Nikki loves Butterfingers. Uh, today, I'm going to read you another Halloween book. Yes. But I'm wondering if first, maybe we should do something about these wild pumpkins. They're just all over the place. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. All right, uh, help me count them as I put them in the drawer, okay? Ready? One. Oh, man. Two. Three. Jeez. Four. Five, oh, six, oh man, seven, hurry up, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh, thirteen, no, come back here, fourteen. 15, ready? I think I got them all. Yes, there was 15 yesterday, remember? So we got them all. Okay, now we can read our book in peace, hopefully. Oh, that exhausted me fighting with those Halloween pumpkins. Holy, they're awfully really pretty. This book is called The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. By this is the author Linda Williams and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. The author writes the book, the illustrator draws the pictures. So let's see. Once upon a time, there was an old lady who was not afraid of anything. She doesn't look very afraid, does she? One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs, spices, nuts, and seeds. She walked so long and so far that she, it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Oh yeah, it's dark outside and she's all by herself. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes and the shoes went clomp, clomp, Oh my gosh. Get out of my way, two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady as she walked on down the path. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. 
A little further on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle wiggle. Get out of my way, pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear clunk, clunk, and one pair of shoe pants go wiggle wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, the little old lady said. And as she walked on a little bit faster, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt goes shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. The gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went, hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And she walked on just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at a quite fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, boo, boo. Oh man, that sounds good. The little old lady did not stop to talk this time. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clunk, clunk. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her college with, cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and rocked and rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock on the door. Should she answer it? What do you think? Well, she's not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Yeah. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. One scary pumpkin go boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. Hmm. I have an idea, the little old lady said. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said goodnight and closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. <laughs> The next morning, she woke up early. She went to her window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes that go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants that go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt to go shake, shake. Two gloves that go clap, clap. One hat that goes nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head that goes boo, boo. And scares all the crows away. Oh, cool. Hey, she found something for the scary pumpkin head to do. She gave him a job to become a scarecrow. They're the, they stand out in the fields and in gardens and they scare away all the crows that eat all the food. Ah, so what did you think of that? That was a good one too, huh? You thought it was going to be scary, didn't you? I thought so too. But it wasn't. I wasn't scary like that. Okay, speaking of large orange pumpkins, what did you do with your pumpkin this year? This year, I didn't do anything to my pumpkin at all. Actually, I left it the way it was. 
and I just put it on the table to look pretty. And my daughter, she carved her pumpkin. So she took a knife and she opened it and took all the icky guts and seeds out. And then she cut a face into it. Did you carve your pumpkin or did you paint your pumpkin? Last year we painted our pumpkins. This year we carved them. Which did you do? Don't forget to have your grown up message me on Learning Genie or mine or call me and let me know what you guys did with your pumpkins. I would really like to know. <sighs> well, speaking of that, we gotta wrap this up. So, cause I gotta let Miss Cindy know about these crazy, crazy pumpkins. Oh man, uh, Hopefully she knows a farm she can take them to so they can go be wild on Halloween. Okay, let's sing our goodbye song. Ready? Here we go. I'll sing first, right? See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. Bye bye, butterfly. Big Ben. Kangaroo. <laughs> Time to go, Buffalo. Give a hug, ladybug. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Just like that. Fat cat. Take a bow, milk cow. Take a bow, milk cow. See you soon, baboon. All right, now you sing first and then I'll sing. Thank you very much for joining me again today and I used a lot of time with this song. I'm sure glad that we got to tell some of these stories. Well, until next time, bye bye.